All right, uh, welcome to part four of this modeling tutorial for the chair. Um, for the last part, I think for today, we are going to just cover, I guess, this stand or the, the standing supports. Um, so this is basically the wheels. So this is this one is actually pretty easy, but I'm going to try to keep this. I'm going to keep this as simple and short as possible. All right, so get a cylinder create so about oh, about that height and then just bring this up okay and then go to input make this five because this is where you're going to want to this is going to be all extruding okay so now let's see let's take this let's bring this up here yeah it's going to be all extruding okay and then let's rotate that to about About there. Oops. Uh, let's see if we can make that a little bigger. Make that a little bigger. That's yeah, good. Let's make that a little longer. A little bit thinner. So yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So um, now we just gotta find our piece. Wherever the hell it may be. There, there it is. Okay. Okay, so now let's just bring this all the way over here. Okay, so let's let's do this. Um, hold on. Object. Make sure that's in line. All right, that's fine. So now we're going to extrude each part, each piece. So I like to keep a tab of that. So I don't know something about I don't know like right there would be fine. So um. Do want to keep in mind that you can't, since we're not going to be able to extrude each face, because what happens is, is that when you extrude each face, it will, you know, it will become an uneven. So that's why what we're going to have to, unfortunately, do is copy down these numbers, so these x, y, and z, and then we can um, basically go from there. So I'm going to actually pause it right now, and then I'm going to come back when I have all the stuff uh, taken care of. So I'm just going to pause it. OK, so what I did was basically extruded these um, this thing out. What I did was I took each face and I extruded it to these points. So hold on, uh, extrude to about, you know, the, the extrude points was like um, like five the, for local x, I made each one five point um, five five seven, um, five you know it was like point five one eight, and then the same thing. So x was uh, you know I just I just basically shaved them out to a reasonable size to where I thought you know this would be you know good to extrude. So I made those all the same. So you know every single one. Okay. So now let's go back to our um, front view. And then let's see about see if we can shape these out. So let's do an ex another extrude, and we're going to pull this out. Oops. Okay. So we're going to pull that out, and then we're going to pull this down. Okay. And then after you're going to scale it to about this size. So maybe go a little, go a little smaller, go a little bit more in. That's eh, it's about you know it's yeah, it's about good. Okay. So basically, I just did that um, and whatnot. Now, if you want, you know, exact measurements, um, all you have to do is look at your um, basically your just you gotta look at your measurements and then go from there. So, but for the sake of expediency, I'm just gonna keep it short, and then I'll just do all the mocking later. So anyway, um, enough of that. See if I can just go back. Okay, there we go. 
So now what we're going to do is we are going to basically shape all these out. So basically all you have to do is go in and shape, you know, each one to the appropriate measure, etc. So, you know, something like that would be nice. Um, so now you just take each vertice and then you just basically, you know, go up on each one. So about, well, something like around there. Um, kind of having a little trouble looking at this one. Uh, let's go a little higher. So about, you know, about there, it's fine. Uh, let's see if I can bring these up a bit. So, uh, bring those up. Bring these up a bit. Bring those up, bring those up, and so on and so forth. So basically you got that. And then there you go. So you got something, you know, simpler to that. And then there you go. So now you got something really nice. Um, yes, it's a little flat. However, nothing that, you know, you can just do that and that. Make it a little better. Um, let's see. Yeah. Basically what you want to do is... I guess what you could do is make these fatter so we can always go in and tweak that later okay so what we can do is now go on to the second one which is going to be the one right here okay so make sure you follow along and then just do you know same thing you know take that extrude all the way out extrude that there and there you go so now you just crunch it down to the appropriate size you want. So now, yeah, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Okay, so what we could do is now, you know, I had to insert some edge loops. Uh, let's get right there. Let's get right there. Let's get right there. Right there, and maybe one more. Okay, so now you're gonna take each vertice, and then you're going to uh, up these. So up, go up go up, just kind of zoom in, basically to, you know, you know, get that exact measurement, so, get that, that's one of, good, okay, now we'll bring these up to about here, this can go up, yeah, let's see, I have to bring those down a bit, to about there, this can go up, this can go up, and this can go up, that can go up, these can go up, and that can go up. So now you pretty much have yourself, you know, you're, you're getting there. You are basically doing exactly what you want. So now if you want to make these a little bit more rounder, uh, yes, you can. I add more edge loops, so but I can do that later. But for right now, um, I'm just gonna stick with this. So about um, if you really want to keep tab on how much you're, you know, adding on to this, you know, you can always keep her. Um, you know, you, you can always um, you can always duplicate this, and then you can basically add on to it. So um, all right, so let's just take this phase, and uh, let's see, you can't really go into that, so what we can do though is extrude out, extrude out this, or what you want, might want to do is something like that, extrude that out, so about right there, and then something like, you know, something like about right there, so that's pretty much how you do it. I'm going to go ahead and just continue on through this myself, but I'm going to assume you get, you get, you know, you get the picture of what you have to do. Um, yeah, any more details, you know, you can always, uh, do that, so, um, yeah, I guess I've got a few things i got to fix, but that's okay, so. All right, well, that's all i got for this one, so enjoy.